Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the BGSF Minecraft server. Right away here, you can probably tell that I'm using a, uh, a shader program. It's part of, uh, the, uh, a spout plugin. Um, I could probably leave a link in the comment below, but today we're going to take a look at a few things that have been built on the vanilla map server of the BGSF uh, Minecraft server. And uh, when I say vanilla, once again, I reiterate, it's not really vanilla, there's mods, but we call it vanilla as opposed to the TechIt server, which has Buildcraft and Industrial Craft. And this is a uh, public library. It's not entirely complete. But uh, uh, Retrocorn is working on this. And my frame rates aren't as anywhere nearly as high as they normally are because I'm using this shader. But I wanted to use this shader just to test out the uh, cinematic, or at least how the this uh, sort of cinematic mode turns out post-production. So I'm sorry if I get a little bit topical in regards to the to the topic of the shader. But uh, there's quite a few things that have built, been built. I think I need to check up on my hunger here. Pardon me. There we go. And the uh, the snow is kind of blinding in with the uh, the shader. It's part of uh, Spoutcraft. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that Lord Kalen has built this over here. Look at the grass. Like, it moves and stuff. It's pretty peculiar. It's really, really weird when you're in a jungle, too. Maybe I might show that later. But yeah, I think Lord Kalen's working on this. Also, uh, here soon, possibly within... Uh, I don't know exactly how soon, but within a week, we're probably going to uh, have a werewolf game. Uh, since we finally have enough people who are interested in playing. Uh, I haven't built a werewolf mansion or anything, so we're going to be using this town here of New Rorikstead is what we call the spawn town. There's also a playground over here. But uh, the last thing, or possibly not the last thing, I don't know, but one of the main things I wanted to show was a uh, lumber yard that I built. Because I will be distributing quite a bit of lumber to the players on the server. As I have a very... Uh, efficient tree farm. I don't think I've shown that. So this is the the playground. The sandbox used to be my favorite thing when I was a kid. So it's no surprise that uh, sandbox games like Minecraft appeal to me, I suppose. And I suppose we already took a look at the inn. I suppose we'll uh, look at the lumberyard now. It's the the Mirgloff. What what do they call it? Mirgloff Lumber Company, a Mirko subsidiary. Now the lighting in the shader is a little bit weird. I I don't know. It's just in this uh, sort of visual option is not something I would play with normally when I'm just playing Minecraft, because I really can't tell if this is this does not look like it's illuminated nearly well enough to prevent mobs from spawning. But here is the uh the products. And uh this this uh the Mirgloff Lumber Company is uh sort of modeled off after uh my own workplace where I work. I work in a hardware store lumber yard combination. The lumber yard is where I mostly work. And uh, the hard this building right here would represent the hardware store. I haven't finished the interior, obviously, but uh, except for the actual hard store hardware store where I work is uh, considerably larger than this. But I was mainly mostly uh, concerned about the lumberyard portion because I wanted to. Uh, well, it's a lumber distribution company that I've built. So you can see the, the the leaves moving and swaying. It's, it looks kind of goofy if you pay too close attention to it. 
And this is some various products that I'll be trading with uh, other players on the server. And there's the uh, the new sandstone blocks. You see, this whole thing right here represents a racking. At my job, we uh, have stuff on pallets, mostly uh, soils and uh, stones. And I would use a forklift to uh, get the stuff off of the rack up there, but that's what that represents. And then there's pavers over here, which are the half stones. And then over here will be uh, some other stuff, some... Uh, I forget what I was going to put here. I'll remember it eventually. But yeah. And I think as promised, I will go into the jungle. Uh, actually, I think the last thing I will show is the tank bone tower. But uh, I'll cut cut away to get to that because that's quite some distance away. But I want to get to the jungle first, so we'll go there. Okay, here's the jungle, and this is what it looks like with this shader thing, because it has the leaves swaying. So it looks very, very trippy. I mean, it'd be worse if the vines were swaying as well. But it is it is really kind of goofy looking. If you look at that, it looks like it's moving. And uh, I did say that we would go to take a look at Tank Bone Tower. Uh, we won't, actually, because it's night and it's scary, and I don't want to walk all the way there. So I normally have uh, commands like home and spawn, but I don't have any of those set up at the Tank Bone Tower. But basically what the Tank Bone Tower is, and I eventually will show, make, show it in the video, but it's basically a tower that uh, two of our prominent admin of the server uh, made that goes all the way up to height limit, and it's not just a one by one tower. It's a, it's a, an actual tower that has architectural design with uh, mostly smooth stone and glass, but it also features a elevator mod that we use, which actually allows you to it actually moves you upwards in a elevator motion rather than just uh, teleporting you as other elevator mods do. In fact, actually, no, I think I am going to go show it. I'm going to end this video with the Tank Bone Tower. I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the Tank Bone Tower, and we'll, we'll, we'll take a look inside. I just started recording here cause just to make note how very amazing and astonishing the terrain around the Tank Bone Tower is. It sort of looks like someone fired some kind of uh, shoop de whoop through that mountain. And get into this tower here. It's fairly difficult. At least the, the direction I tried to access it through last time was not practical. But I will try over this way. In fact, I think this is probably the right way. I don't really care much for the shadow of the... that it gives you for yourself. But it kind of does look cool when you're running. Uh, I don't want to use up my sword completely. I want to repair it to improve my repairing skill, which is another mod that we have on the server. Uh, crap. Uh, well... I can replace that. Uh, no, I can't. Damn it. Uh, well, I'll have to explain that to them. Or run back to my place and get some, two stone. Or I can just cook something. I'll figure it out. Anyways, so this is the... This will... I'll show you the feature of the elevator mod. Uh, you just right click the change the floor on the side and I don't know what mod this is I'm, I'm not the one who does I don't deal with mods at all and uh, so if you wanted to ask me what mod this is and where to find it the answer is I have no idea but this is what it does and in the cinematic shader option it looks very cool
It's taking me all the way to the top. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he means by that. And... So that's the top of the tower. The view is not very good because they've kind of blocked it off with this glass here. But it's a very it's not a very great view regardless because it only shows so much... Ch so many chunks loaded in at a time. But we're going to go back down. I just like riding up and down this elevator with this shader mod activated. Looks very nice. And I suppose we'll end this video with the very glorious sunshine, or sunrise. Yeah, there we go. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and see you around later.